Hi guys, welcome to the Odie Podcast. I'm Max. Wavy. And tonight we're going to be talking about... How to cook the crack. Yeah. What he said. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so... I got a question for you as a guy. So this show is all about trying to understand each other. We didn't say accept, say understand. Why do men always call women not feminine when she just does not agree? Now there's a difference between or you have an opinion versus well because I make the money and I wear the shoes and the pants and therefore for most things, like small think, things. I don't think, uh, 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 it, it depends on the man vocabulary, because I don't think a lot of men will say, well, you're just not being feminine. That's probably not a first thing that even okay. normally me probably wouldn't even come in my head. But I do say it now because we do podcasts or like that, but you already know that's not really the first thing coming to the head. Either, it's either I'm going to argue with you or I'm just going to want to just ignore you and, and dead the conversation. You know what I'm saying? But it's... It's, it's pretty much off of, you know, you can say it, whatever it is, or if, um, it depends on if he's, what you want, what, what they want to call, like, a, a alpha, which I don't even want to use that word, because it's so, like, vague and mis- Can I, can I, can I even switch it topic because when you brought the word alpha up, it made me think about, and we, we could talk about it after, when some men call other men sims just because... They're nice to females. Yeah, we that, could talk that about that after. I wouldn't say that makes you a simp. You're just a nice guy. A nice guy's never win. All right, so I'm gonna ask you, what's a simp to you? Um, you going out your way to do stuff for a female who's not really interested. If she's interested in you. I don't really see a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. she's not really interested in you. You're going out your way to do all these things. And okay. So if she's not interested, but I see men call men who have women and who get women sims. They don't. How you? It's my bitch. I would spoil her. Do what I want to do with my girl. I know. It's just so crazy that I actually do hear men say that. They would look at someone else and be like, "Oh, I wouldn't do that to my bitch." They wouldn't say it like that. But that's, yeah, that's damn. You know, like that's just like all right. Like uh, for example, Lil Durk said. I lied on one of my songs because I ain't buying no bitch no Birkin. He bought India a Birkin. He just, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no. That is that is not, niggas may feel like, yeah, I'm not going to simp on the whole or whatever, but if you got your girl, like, obviously, like, you know what I'm saying? She's like, your girl looking dusty or something? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, but we could, I guess we could jump back into it. No, I'm just saying, like, if he's, like, an alpha-type guy, a, a aggressive, dominant, non-agreeable type person, then he's just, you know, he's not going to accept <laughs> not agreeing with him. That's- okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I accept that. I understand that. Um, in this scenario, I accept it okay. when I think about it. But for the females... I don't believe a lot of them get that. Now, when you break it down like that, like something just like clicked in my brain to make me understand that me as a female, if I met a man like this and I got with him, why would I expect that he's anything different than when I met him like this? Oh, a lot of women feel like that. That's that's just like, uh, like I remember we dated five years and one day he told me, I don't like the way you talk to me. And I'm like, what did I do? Did I change something? <laughs> I don't know. I was confused for a second, but then you, I know you even had to think about it. Be like, all he said was bro, or, or, or I don't know. I might have said the word bitch to myself that I don't know, but it wasn't like calling you a stupid bitch. And I'm like, what you doing? Know? It's all like that. And you like, why are you talking to me like that? And I'm like, I don't really say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, little. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with if someone feels offended as long as they communicate that and then don't act upon it without communicating first, giving the person the ability to say, hey, okay, you didn't like that, I can I can not do that or... Yeah. 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 I mean, I wouldn't say I really switched up how I talked that much, just it was, 
I just found it funny at the moment he's saying that because I'm like niggas. I think it's natural for people to I, you could either say get tired of someone or over time want to groom someone into the, the person like they want them to be or like would like them to be. You know what I'm saying? And it may it may take longer for some people than others, but you know. Uh, I definitely do not feel like that. Why is it? Because I felt like me, me trying to control you was just me trying to go bold and get gray hair on my bald head. Like the shit is just not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work out. Like I cannot control what you do. I can tell you, and I had to learn that. But then when I did learn that, it was like, oh, okay, I control what I do. I communicate, I give chance for response, and then I accept the response that I get. I guess I can call that adulthood right now. That's what it feels like. I don't think so. Because I'm not going to accept, accept whatever response I get now, so. Well, the, when I say you accept the response you get, when you get the response, you as a person receiving it, you get to tailor how you feel. So if you want to be mad, sad, angry, happy, however you want to be, like, you can be that way because you get to choose what you, how you react. You can only control what you do. So you can't be so bothered about what the other person is doing. Like, am I like gonna be so scared that you cheat on me that all I do is think about you cheating on me? Like, how successful would I be? Like, what what kind of relationship would I have? That's like so negative. It's like you're looking at like all the stuff, and now I see you in the afternoon when we come home from work, and I, all I'm still thinking about is wow. you're cheating on me. Well, how is how is my brain gonna stop looking at you now that I all day while I was at work thinking you were cheating on me, right? And then you come home and I see you. What makes you think I'm not still gonna be looking at you thinking you're cheating on me? If that's my thought process. No, I was saying I don't necessarily think that everyone like kind of goes like do that like. You know what I'm saying? Like think oh, about that. Like, they don't they don't go yeah. Like, I don't I don't think I don't think they, they do. But they I'm just need saying to. like not every, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I think a lot of people need to, but that's that's but that's why I, say, I call it I call it adulthood. Scen- yeah, that's certain scenarios, but that's why I was just gonna say like I kinda disagree because I'm like, yeah, you can say like, Oh yeah, you shouldn't be looking at some niggas. I mean I got we got to the stage or you know, at where I'm at now where like it's not I really don't it's not a issue, but I'm saying like Shit, some niggas out here got them most savage ass. You might want to look. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying no. I'm yeah. just stating like you could control only what you, you as you as a person. Yeah, you. and I and I do think I 100 percent do think like down there like it's whatever you do is always gonna come to light. So it's like not really like a a thing. I don't care if you if you thought it you ain't did it for a year or whatever, that shit might just pop up out of nowhere. I don't know. I feel like just be weird, just be mysterious things, blind. So it's whatever you do, I, in my own opinion, I mean, that's a, that's a part of the reason why I don't even look to your phone for any reason. Cause I'm like, even if you do cheat on me, I feel like even if it take a year or two down the line, like it's just gonna come out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm not, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> See, that's why I, that's why I call it adulthood because yeah. it took it took me being an adult me me being mad about certain things that I have no control over even just a regular day life for me to understand okay that's not it I can't control that so I'm not gonna try to control my spouse I'm not gonna try to control my partner no form of passion so I do not understand why women decide to I mean men are, I think that. a lot of men are more controlling than women. Men are more controlling than women, but as sadly as it sounds, it's accepted. It's accepted because it's men are typically doing it. Typically, now there are toxic men who are too controlling, but mm-hmm. typically if a man is being controlling, it's only because he's trying to protect you yeah. from what he thinks could happen to you or what you could do or whatever. But he's not like controlling because he has like, you know what I'm saying? Issues. Yeah. yeah, he's controlling because... He, he's concerned about you and your well-being and like what you got going on mm-hmm. and your life and all that. 
So, yeah. But I do still somehow think that just because you can't change someone does not mean that you can't have change in someone. So finding someone who is um, like finding so, like a guy for a girl. Okay, so as a female, if you if you met a guy and he's just not at a stage of life that you want him to be, technically you could look at it as an investment. But, but no one ever knows how to do that. I say investment because when you he when you invest in her, why should she invest in him? In every relationship, you're gonna invest. Wow, because you invest in your time. Not, not even just the time. Like that person, when you get into a relationship, you start building, and you're always gonna get better and better and better. But you know who's gonna be there while you, you make get it better worse and better. And worse and worse. Oh yeah, break up. Oh yeah, I don't mean. But if you get better and better and better, you not hopping in at the end while he is successful, while he's where he needs to be without you. It's possible. It's, it's, but yeah. you have a higher likelihood of him wanting to be with you and doing the life that you probably already gonna have kids by the time you're successful because then no one's gonna be successful to you know and other things. So probably already done have been started building the family. Sure. So Ooh. It wouldn't it, you know what I mean. He was definitely not going nowhere at that point. But he's already there. <laughs> no, I. He was in love. You think just because men are in whatever situation they're in, they just stay there, they don't leave? Yes, they do not leave. Cheating and leaving is two different things. No, they do not. Yeah, cheating and leaving are two different things. No. But what if the person who cheated is the reason for the person? Mm, of course, yeah. but she's still going to get a divorce. She's going to do it. He ain't going to do it. Even when a woman cheat on men, men still don't get down in this shit divorce most times. The woman still leaves him. How would you do that? Women think they got options. I. You know what, I, I they, definitely... They conflate sexual attraction and relationship attraction, right? Okay. I just want to have sex with so, you. I want to build a life in a relationship. So this, this, is, this is my fear. It's not really my fear, but just because we're talking about relationships and under this topic. Talk, talk about it just now. Having to not be with you to have to try to do this with someone else. And it's not that I can't see myself doing it. I wouldn't do it. City boys be up. <laughs> it's not that I can't see myself doing it, but it's it's more how much w am I willing to give or how much am I willing to care? Because you can only care so much before you realize, hey, one hand don't clap. The dating market right now. I'm just so happy that I'm not on the dating market. Oh, seems like fun. It do seem like fun, but it also seems like a lot of bullshit to deal with as a female boy male. Yeah, you're having a lot of fun, but we are not having that much fun. But we are having fun too. Yeah, but fun. but look, we have to lose to have fun. Y'all just have fun. Yeah. Like, y'all just freely having fun. And well, see, we... What's the thing about that? They just think they freely having fun, too. No. I... Well, they probably damn, but I understand. So, you know, me me thinking about it, I'm thinking, no, the dating market is not cool for me. As a female, nope, I don't want to be in the dating market. I have to... I either have to build me a guy, or I have to take somebody guy... And that doesn't sound cool because when I think about it, if I can take somebody guy just like that, then it means like somebody else can take my guy. So like, why would I want that guy? Like, that's just wrong. Would you feel? Would you feel that way? Tomorrow about a bitch. Yeah. Excuse my language, my French. Um, 
Yeah, you mean I'm not gonna date her after I done took her from like no, I'm not gonna date you. Like, no. like you just understood like your values are like so all to this world. I mean, but kinda of said I mean, that's how most women operate though. What to just do shit and then be like, uh oh. Yeah, most women don't leave their relationship until they've already found a new guy. Yeah, I guess most likely. Yes. Um I I do majority I would this I would say so, but damn, there's some who Yes, I'm telling you. I guarantee you most females who you bring over we bring them over and do another podcast, you ask them how many times have you been broken up with? Majority of them are are you gonna say none or maybe once or twice? None of them are going to be like, every relationship I was in, some people wish they broke up with me. But you know what happened to a man who asked him that question? Oh, well, every relationship I was in, she broke up with me. Okay, let me think about this. I oh, no, I broke, broke up, up with him. I, I broke up with her, but I'm just saying, like, that most men don't break up. Like, they don't, you know what I'm saying? Me, sure, I understand that. Yeah, he broke up with you. No. We were 13 years old. You thinking back too far. I didn't know. I don't even know the hoes. Can you think about that shit? I didn't have that much. I had less than you, bro. Well, I thought you can't even remember the hoes. Because I was just talking to all of them. We wasn't fucking. We weren't fucking either. Why are you thinking about them? How do you even think? I don't know them hoes. I only had so many boyfriends in my life. I only had. Well, no. But it yeah. was just like pimp, 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 pimp. No, I didn't have pimp, 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 pimp. I just had like pimp, 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 pimp. I mean, that what happened when you talked to her. You did not believe Oh, yeah, girl, we together. But you're like, it's like, I'm, I'm, we're not together. If you don't let me hit, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said just about, like, oh. <laughs> Yo, the other day, I was, so, I forgot where I was. I forgot to tell you about that shit. That, I don't know how young this guy was, but he just seemed like just so young to me. But he just had lines. <laughs> and I just could not stop smiling. We probably watched Gerald Houston or something on YouTube. I was like, what the fuck? He was just like, you can make him laugh if you got him. Um, and when I went to get gas on Monday, the man of the gas station made me laugh. He was homeless. Sure, he got game too. He did. He was like, I'm calling Pocahontas. And I was like, okay. <laughs> See, he got there. And then he started saying some more stuff, and I was just like blushing. Mm-hmm. But I was trying not to laugh, but I couldn't help but laugh. So I was just smiling the whole time. Mm-hmm. But I was I was being nice prior to him saying that. I gave him a dollar, and then he called me Pocahontas. So I don't know. Like, if he, he gave me a compliment, it wouldn't be because I paid him. Like, I gave him a dollar. He, it no, was cold. You say something disrespectful once you guys get caught. <laughs> no, I was already buying a pump. And he walked up to you and demanded a dollar? No. He said, I'm hungry. Oh, hell no. You know, good old nigga bought a bill with that dollar, man. Man, if he did, that's fine. It was just one dollar. Good old nigga bought him a little... You know I never have cash. He was lucky. I had a dollar. He too. bought him a little, uh, a little single pole at, at the corner store uh, in a bill for a dollar nineteen cent. And <laughs> got down... He rocking it for the rest of the night. You gonna smoke this cigarette, drink that beer. Yeah, that cigarette ain't gonna last long either. He was eating up all the chips. Oh, maybe he really was on man, the nigga finna buy some beer, man. He eating his dinner right there. He <laughs> what the fuck? He, man, we gonna buy a beer, man. Would you as a guy date a homeless girl? Huh? <laughs> yes or no? Shawty, please, bro. <laughs> I don't even play like that. I couldn't even stomach it. No, I just wanted to let you know. I like pretty clean. She's pretty clean. How she clean? She homeless. What is she she's sleeping? She showers her planet fitness. Bro. That's $10 a month. Hell no. <laughs> then, if that's the case, I should never even know you homeless. You better play that shit off. You not homeless. So your answer is no, you would not date a bitch that's homeless. No, you better play that shit off. You better be couch hopping and shit. And then every time I see you, you walk out your cousin's house. And you know, don't be homeless. Okay. Okay, I take that. But you, if, if she, she just sleep on everybody's couch and owe everybody money, would you still date her? 
She better? She fine, right? She fine, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Charlie gotta be, it's for me to go out my way to use some shit like that, Charlie gotta be out this world. That's crazy, hell no, nah. like it's too much. Cause you can get another bitch you don't look that pretty, but it is at least a little bit more stable. Like has her own car and shit, she might have her own place. Boom, like it's easy, it's not that hard, especially money ain't that hard to find a bitch you got all that. So why make, um, okay. The whole be rude too at the same time. That homeless bitch might be nice and quiet and do what say. She might cook. Yeah. Once upon a time, you told me I would prefer to date a bitch who would get a gas station <laughs> because you're so mean. <laughs> and I was hurt. And I was like, <laughs> I was really hurt though. I was like, dang. You want to date a bitch at a gas station? I was like, the bitch at a gas station, I don't even cute. That's the time we was living on the next side there too. I was like, when I got so much gas station bitches. Oh, no. Definitely wasn't thinking about a specific bitch, but I'm just saying like. I know that, but I was just saying like, that's what popped in my head because I'm a oh. visual person. So you're speaking and I'm just seeing pictures on my head. Like, uh, what's I was just on? saying, I would date some broke bitch who making seven dollars an hour at a gas station or whatever. I don't know what they make a fucking corn um, gas station. Like. That's actually, um, that's that's actually crazy that you say that because a lot of women also don't get that and i think it took a lot of time for me to get that but what i used to argue about was some crazy ass shit i'm gonna be mad about like i have to clean because i clean so much so i'm mad or i'm just like tired or annoyed so, you know, now that's like a downer attitude. Nobody wants to be around a downer person. So, yeah. I mean, we have enough space where I can still see him, but I don't have to see him. So, yeah. I'll, I'll do some shit by myself. And he'll be in his own space. Because at one point in life, I had a downer attitude. And that's what a lot of other bitches have, too. That's why you It's not the downer attitude all the way around, bro. It's, it's just that it's just, it's the attitude. It's not the downer attitude. Um, it's just the attitude in general. Well, this this is why I say that everybody have attitude, and if a moment in time you're having a conversation with somebody or you're around them and they are not giving out attitude, you would be fine. But the moment that you have this. And this is where for men, now you're really going to use the word energy, the negative energy that comes with this bickering bitch. That's I, negative. I, I get what you're saying. I was just going off of your statement. I was just saying, I don't think it's a negative attitude because you don't necessarily, to you, you're not being negative. You're not, you're not like, Oh, nigga, that's why your face looks droopy and your, your, your kneecap small, nigga. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when I look at it now as what I practice on my every day when I wake up, which is trying to be positive, I was negative. Like, I was hella negative, so I could understand. Yeah, but I wasn't making you any better. I wasn't making you feel good or nothing, really. I know. I have developed new ways now, though. I just don't care. You know? Damn, I thought you would say, yeah, he just treats me so much better now. I just no. love it. Yesterday, he told me that he was going to clean. He did, okay, so he didn't say he was going to clean. He said, you can you can give me more chores around the house. And he voluntarily said this to me. So I'm going to see how long I can keep this up for because God Lord Damn, knows. I got to tell everybody, this is interrelationship. No. We're, we're trying to teach people they might need some advice on how to run their relationship. No, bitches, don't be giving these niggas no list of shit they need to do. You got to earn your your way first, and then he a goddamn, he might be like, oh, all right, I guess I'll help with it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I mean, there are dudes who just so clean that they can't stand it being dirty. But So wait, 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 hold on. Before you go any further, we have been together for this year 10 years. So you're telling me. That bitch is out for like 10 years of she work. She earned that weight, bro. She earned her weight, bro. She earned so her weight. So where do I get a 20? Metal. Oh. That's lame as fuck. Metal. Is that the best mom ever? 
best wife of the year. Is it gonna be real gold? You want a ribbon? Is it gonna be real gold? Like you gonna it's buy? Gonna be like the type of gold that you could like bite and like. <laughs> I want no candy. <laughs> You ain't some milk chocolate, no. <laughs> I want a real chain. What? You first, the first year, you give me some good shit, and then the next day, you be like, next decade, you be like, uh, here's a chain. A fake one on top of that. <laughs> Maybe we'll make it oh, edible. Yeah, I might, I might make some jokes in the future. It'd be a thoughtful joke, though. It'd be funny. Oh, my God. I don't know. Your pranks. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I've always wanted to play like April Fools with you, but I always be so scared too. No, we don't need that. Because I know it will get real brutal, real fast. Like it'll be all. It's only if you make me mad. It will be every. If I think if, if I think everything you did is just funny and it don't make me mad, then we good. Now if you do something that piss me off, oh, I am finna. I feel I feel like every year I'd be scared for the whole day. I would like work late. In a matter of fact, I would order That would be even dinner. worse, though. Because you come <laughs> home, you come home, I didn't turn all the power off, you try to turn on the lights and shit. <laughs> I would be walking around like, this is not fucking good. Yeah, that would be worse. You want to show that ass before me, so I can't set nothing up. Uh, do you know, okay, so just, just be real. If that happened, because I'm also black and I watch scary movies, I might just drive away. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else calls have electricity. I might need to stay in the car, go back to the car, lock the door. My one call 911, you know, maybe text him and tell him, call and leave a voicemail message in about 10 minutes. You know, because I don't wanna die. I, I would be so mad if I died and then when I reached to heaven, they'd be like, yo, how you died? They'd be like, bro, I just walked in the dark room. <laughs> how many times did you not see this in scary movies? And you did it. I, I would've walked in that motherfucker. Yeah. I would've been like, what's going on? And I know both, and I also would've known you and Kari either in here dead or, <laughs> or you're in here alive and I gotta go find out. <laughs> 